Okay, so step one, when you open up your NetBeans, you go to File, New Project. Step two, you choose which kind of application you're creating. We're creating in the language Java, Java application. You could choose whichever other one you would want to. Step three, you have to choose your application's name. In this case, it's going to be a pseudo test. In other words, we're testing our pseudo code. You would then choose the location you want to put it. So in my case, I want to put it, you, you guys would choose wherever you, however you organize your files. In my case, I'm just going to put it with the actual exercises, um, just for interest's sake. So when you guys refer to the exercises, you can refer to this as well. And I spelled pseudo wrong there, but anyway, my bad. And you here it's regards to creating a main class. Now, a main class contains a method public static void main, and that's where your physical program, when you run it, when you execute that your program, it will start there. Now, I'm going to call it, um, you'll see that there's two names. It goes pseudo test dot pseudo test right now. The first thing is actually a package. So I'm going to call the package pacman just because I think it's funny. Um, but Pac-Man is the package, which means it's a collation of a whole bunch of classes. You guys learned in, uh, in, in uh, Playgrounds the idea of different uh, 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 an object, right? Now, a package is a collection of those objects, or those classes. Now, technically, a class is a structure when you initialize it. So when you guys said create, uh, what were your duties called? Sorry? No, 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 not for run my code. I'm talking about. Uh, um, so right now we're creating a class, and Pac Man could have a collection of classes, and those classes can be initialized with it. And we're going to create a class called um, pseudo test app. Okay? So now you'll see there that it comes up with a whole bunch of gobbledygook. Um, I'm going to briefly go through this with you guys. Realize this is not needed for the test on uh, on Friday. This is just more as a, a how you can test your own pseudocode and we're starting to implement what we're learning into uh, Java code. Now, you, you see where it says it's forward slash star and then star forward slash. Everything in between that is considered a comment. A comment is um, it's not actually needed. It doesn't even get executed. It is information for the programmer. So a double forward slash should be for a single line comment. And you'll see here it's also got who the author is, which is default to um, your username of your computer. You guys can change that. And that will just stipulate the author of there. And then at the bottom you'll see here information about the parameter. You don't need to worry about that. And at the bottom here you'll see that to do code application logic here. Now I've deleted all the comments barring the author. Uh, just purely because the comments there, I'm not so uh, interested in, and I want to try to simplify this as much as possible. This public class inside here. Do you guys know when you when you guys created functions and things inside your uh, inside your uh, playgrounds, right? Yeah. Functions and things are like if I said public void question one. That is the same as saying funct, whatever your function was. Now, public static void main is the same thing as the code below your functions, which means that would execute, and you'd have to call them, those functions, if you wanted them to execute. Do you guys get that? So here I've created a method, a function and a method. There's a, I'll, we'll get through the difference for now, but for now you can just state that they're pretty much the same thing. Okay, so a function and a method. We're now creating a question one, as a method here. Do you guys get that? But now, in, in Playgrounds, the question won't execute unless I called it inside my main area. Did it execute the function? What did you have to do? You had to call it inside your main area. So you'd have to call, in this case, question one. I uh, am sorry, I forgot a bit of code here. Well, just for now, just regurgitate public static void question one, and there's, there's reasons behind that. Um, and I'll get into that later, but it's a bit more complicated than what where you guys are at right now. Um, so public static void question one, I'm creating a method called question one. And that's allowing me to sort of work from there. Um, 
this will call question one, so this is executed here. Now I want to begin the method of transferring my pseudocode into this specific language. You could do this into whatever language you wanted to. For those of you who wanted to get creative, I'm sure you could get it to be put into playgrounds, and you could use playgrounds to test your pseudocode. But I'm not sure how you do output of physical numbers and things like that, or get inputs from users at playgrounds. I know there is a way, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, then the next thing we go is you go int. So we wanted an int max. Sweet. I've got my int max. So that is going to work with my max value. Now, if I followed this pseudocode on the memo here, we will take a look down here. We will go, okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to get int max. The second thing we want to do is we want to input max. You guys, I've given you access to this. It's on the U drive and whatnot. You guys can copy and paste this code or you can just retype what I'm typing. For now, you don't need to know this. Do you guys remember in in um, in playgrounds? You guys were you guys had parameters that you could send to. You guys learned parameters, didn't you? Yeah. Now what you'll notice? Okay, let me start this. What I was doing from scratch, so you guys can have a bit more understanding of it. Integer is a class that you can use that someone else has created, and you'll see that there's a method called parsint, which will receive a parameter of a string and it will change that string into an integer. So we're using methods here that do stuff for us that someone else created. I am then going to go um, jopption pane. Now jopption pane is a class that someone created us, like in, in Playgrounds, which allows me to get input from the user. So if I go show input dialog here, if I go control spacebar, you'll see that um, it'll show me show input dialog, which will receive a message through and return a string. So I'll take that string, convert it into an integer, store it in max. I'll explain this in more detail because, as I say, we don't need to know this right now, but it's um, we we will be learning this in more detail. Show input dialog. My computer is freezing. Do I want to reload it? No. Now. Now what you'll notice, Sir, what, is the main class what is it, what? The main class. So when it the main class. Uh, you can call it anything you want. Um, I, I'm happy if you guys can give it whatever name you want. Okay. Uh, I called mine pseudo test app, but you guys can call it. It's the name of a class. It's up to you guys. Okay. What you'll notice is that, so here I've got max is equal to integer dot parsons. And you can use control space bar so it'll complete a lot of it for you. Now what this does is it gets the user to input the maximum value. I know it's a long bit of code, but you guys can copy and paste this from my class if you want. And just uh, get it in there. Integer.parsons. Use your control space bar. You'll notice when I press control space bar, it comes up with suggestions. So if you start typing an integer and you go control space bar, you'll see it'll give you that option. If you start typing in parsons, you go control space bar, it'll then allow give you those options. So you can complete it using your control space bar. Anyway, so if I press uh, what you guys will notice here, we would get the input from the user the max. So if I look at my in my pseudocode now, it then said int i and j, so it declared two more variables. So int i, comma j. So I declared two more variables. It then states um, it wants us to go i is equal to one. So we're initializing i. So remember the term initializing. We are initializing i there. Uh, the next thing so we state is string display. So we declare a string uh, display. So string is capital. Make sure it's capital. You make use of your control space bar if you're unsure. It then said it wanted to initialize display to be open brackets uh, uh, default values. So we're just going display is equal to inverted commas and inverted commas. So you'll see now that I've done exactly what I've done on the pseudocode. Um, and now we are creating a loop. So now while uh, i is less than or equal to max, and then it ends the while at the bottom there. 
So if I go into my pseudocode, I'll go while, open brackets, i is less than max. Is that what I wrote there? Is that correct? Open curly brackets, enter. So there, a while loop is the same as what it is in Playground. It's while, and then you put the condition here, which means this will continue to iterate. So it will go through loop, 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 as long as that condition is true. So when I go back to here, uh, it says while i is less than or equal to max. So sorry, it's less than or equal to. I didn't do it exactly as what it was there. And then it says j is equal to 1. So I'm literally just uh, writing out my pseudocode in, um, in the Java format. Now I've got an internal loop, so we've got a nested loop here. So now we're doing while j. So we're saying while j is uh, less than or equal to i. Open curly brackets, enter. And then display is equal to display plus j. Okay, and then j is equal to j plus 1. So I'm literally just doing exactly what I said in mind, just with the slightly different syntax. And then on the next line, I'm saying display is equal to display plus backslash n. And then you'll notice i is equal to i plus 1, semicolon. Now you'll notice when as soon as I open the curly brackets for my whiles, it automatically closed it for me. Be careful of that. Remember your, your beginning of your loops and your end of your loops needs to be open and closed. You need to work between them. So when you're inside the loop, you need to be there. You'll also notice that Java automatically indents for you. Try to keep that indenting. It makes your life a lot easier. And then at the end, it would want to output display. Now this is where it does get a little bit syntax different. Is here we're going to make use of our J option plan again. Actually, no, we can't make use of our JavaScript. We're going to use S-O-U-T tab. So to repeat that, you just go S-O-U-T tab. It does a system dot out dot print line. And we're literally just going to print display. Now, when I run this, you'll notice. So S-O-U-T tab. It will ask me, input the max. So if I said 10 here and I went OK, You'll see it'll go 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can test that my, um, my method is working fine. So I've literally coded that up there. That's the end of question 1 and end of this sort of uh, beginning tutorial on this. Um, but yeah, literally, it goes through a bit more detail of how it works. When I press play, it will call question 1. So I'll run question 1, which is this up here. It will then declare these variables, it will do a joption pane dot show and put dialog, which is that one that we saw here. Uh, for some reason I'm running the wrong project here, sorry. I ended up running um, another program. Um, so when I run this project, please run this project this time. Uh, it will ask me to input max, which is the joption pane dot show and put dialog. When I enter in 5, it will convert it into an integer, store it in max. It will then run all of this. It will then print out to the command line this, the, the actual uh, what is in display. So what is in display is that. So I'll run through these loops and work with that. You know, a lot of it happens in RAM, but I've shown you guys through how that works. I'm about to end the video. Is there any questions that you want included on this video?